In this video, I'll explain how to add listing categories and custom listing fields. First of all, you have to define the structure of your appointment booking website by adding listing categories to make it easier for users to navigate. Go to the Listings – Categories section. For the sake of this tutorial, let's add Tutoring, Mentoring, Consulting and Coaching listing categories. Keep in mind that you can add as many categories as you need for your appointment booking website by following these steps. When adding a new listing category, set a name for it, add the description and set a parent category if you want to turn it into a subcategory. This way you can add multiple category levels. Also, it's better to choose a category icon. Additionally, you can set a color if you want and set order of this category. When finished, simply click on the Add Category button. Keep in mind that there are no limits, so you can create as many listing categories as required for your website. In the same way, I'll also add three other categories behind the scenes. Once you are done with listing categories, it's time to add some custom listing fields. By default, the listing form contains the basic fields like title and description, but Hivepress allows you to add your own fields and search filters specific to the website you are building. Please note that in Hivepress all items that are used as custom listing fields and search filters are called attributes. For example, let's take a look at the Meeting Hive demo website and I'll show you what everything looks like. Here we have listings. These fields are attributes. And these search filters are also attributes, and they are fully customizable, meaning that you can create your own depending on your website niche. Let's come back to our website and add the first attribute. To do that, go to the Listings Attributes section and click Add New. For example, let's add a format custom field so service providers can indicate whether they offer their services one on one or in groups. First, set the attribute name and allow its front-end editing so it appears in the listing form for users. Here, set a unique field name used for storing the attribute values and here select the field type. For the format field, it's better to use the select type. Also, I'll make this field required. In the search section, you can allow users to search and filter listings by attribute value. Let's simply mark it as filterable, searchable and select the search field type. Here you can use select as well. Finally, you can define how the attribute value will look on the listing page by assigning it to certain template areas. I'll use the Meeting Hive demo website to show you what I mean by template areas. If you want to display your attribute here, choose a block primary and if here, then choose the block secondary. Then, if you want to display your attribute here, set a page primary and to display here, set a page secondary. Now, you can set its display format. You can use the replaceable tokens in the display format. Simply hover on the question icon to view the available tokens. I'll use this display format for this field. I'll also select an icon for this attribute. By the way, note that you can make any field category specific by selecting listing categories where it should be applied. Once you finish customizing everything, click on the Publish button. Since we added an attribute with a select field type, we need to set some options to choose from. That's why you have to click on the Edit Options button and add different options. We'll add one on one and group. That's it. This field will now appear in the listing submission form. By following the same steps, you can create many other custom fields like hourly rate, setting, etc. There are no limits, so feel free to add as many as required for your appointment booking website. But please note that each subsequent searchable field may affect the search performance, so it's better to keep the number of search filters to a minimum. I'll also add a few more attributes by following the same steps, but I'll do this behind the scenes 
just to save your time. But before moving to the next section, I would like to briefly show you how to add vendor profile fields. In HivePress, they are called vendor attributes. You can create different fields so vendors have to fill them out when they register on your website. Let me show you how it looks on the Meeting Hive demo website. These fields are vendor attributes, and to add similar ones, you can simply go to the Vendors Attributes section and create new attributes. Here everything is similar to listing attributes, so I'll briefly add some fields behind the scenes. Just one small detail here. You can mark any attribute as required so vendors won't be able to finish the registration form and add new listings without filling out this form. For example, you can require attaching some ID screenshots to verify the person. If you want to add such sensitive attribute, don't forget to make it private, so it's only visible to website admins. Alright, now we have the listing categories, fields and search filters, and we can move to the next video, where I'll walk you through the HivePress settings.